Hi guys, and welcome to The Family Fudge. I'm Jennifer, and today I'm sharing my fun and easy recipe for a cheese ball. This tasty appetizer is not only cute, but it's sure to be a big hit at your next Thanksgiving gathering. And best of all, you won't believe how easy it is to throw together, so stay tuned and I will show you how to make it. Okay guys, now before we get started, I have three things that I wanna share with you. Number one, today's cheese ball is pumpkin shaped, but it's not pumpkin flavored at all, so don't worry about that. Number two, today's video is part of the Frugal Family Food Collab created by Amanda at The Fundamental Home and Tangie at The Caver's Wife. So this video is gonna be going on a playlist where you can find a lot of other Thanksgiving recipes to help your family have a frugal Thanksgiving on a budget. And number three, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and give this video a big thumbs up if you like Thanksgiving recipes. Now let's get started. I'm starting with one eight ounce block of room temperature cream cheese. I'm also using an eight ounce package of room temperature vegetable cream cheese and two tablespoons of Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning powder. I'm also using three green onions, one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, and about three cups of shredded cheddar cheese. Now some of this cheddar cheese is going into the cheese ball and some of it's actually going on the exterior as well. And then finally, I do need the stem of one bell pepper, just the stem. I'm not actually putting any bell pepper in my cheese ball. To help shape our cheese ball into a pumpkin, I'm gonna be using some of these large, wide rubber bands. And I'm also gonna be using some saran wrap. That part is important. Now if you wanted to, you totally could add some jalapenos or green chilies if you'd like your cheese ball spicy. I'm going to start by finely dicing my green onions. I'm using the green and the white, but I do want to make sure to chop these pretty small. I don't want anybody to bite down on a big piece of onion. Next, I'm going to shred my cheese. Now you're going to need at least three cups here. Some of it's going in the cheese ball and some of it's going on the outside. And it's really best if you can grate your own cheese and not use the pre-shredded stuff. Now to make this a little bit easier on myself, I'm going to use my electric mixer with my paddle attachment, but you could use a hand mixer or even just an old fashioned spoon to mix it all up. To my mixer, I'm going to add my block of room temperature cream cheese and the entire carton of vegetable cream cheese as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn my mixer on to get this nice and light and creamed together. Next, I'm going to add two tablespoons of my Hidden Valley Ranch powder now, if you don't have the big container like I do from Costco, this is about one envelope packet. Next, I'm going to add the quarter teaspoon of garlic powder and half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Next, I'm going to add about one cup of our shredded cheddar cheese, and I'm gonna reserve the other two cups to coat the exterior of our cheese ball. And lastly, I'm going to add all of the green onions. Now, I'm just going to mix this on medium until well combined. Next, I'm going to lay out several layers of saran wrap. You definitely do not want to skimp on the saran wrap. You don't want your cheese ball to be leaking out. So now we're left with about two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. I'm gonna take half of that and put it on top of the saran wrap and spread it out just a little bit. Then I'm gonna take a spatula and I'm going to put all of the cream cheese mixture in the center, right on top of the shredded cheddar cheese. Then I'm going to take the remaining cheese and put it on the top and sides of the cream cheese mixture. Now I'm gonna get in here with my hands to help press the cheese into our ball and to start shaping it up a bit. And now I'm just going to wrap it up. I'm just gonna fold over the saran wrap, try to keep it nice and tight without changing the shape. Now before I add my rubber bands, I do like to take my hands and kind of reshape the cheese ball just to make sure it's nice and round. Next, I'm going to very carefully start adding my rubber bands. You just want to do this gently. You want to keep the cream cheese in the center. So I'm just going to add enough rubber bands to make sort of a pumpkin shape. If you'd like the grooves on your pumpkin to be even wider, you can add two rubber bands in each direction. Now you're going to want to store this in the fridge for at least four hours, but overnight is even better. And you could even make this several days before your party. And I do like to store this in a round bowl just to help keep that pumpkin shape. 
Then about an hour before I wanna serve this, I'm going to finish it up. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the rubber bands. Then I'm gonna go ahead and set my cheese ball aside and prepare the stem for our pumpkin, which is actually gonna come from this green bell pepper. It's really important to find a nice long stem on your pepper. Now, even though I'm not using the pepper in the cheese ball, this would be great on a veggie tray or I just save it for another recipe. So I've just trimmed off the top here and then I'm gonna trim a little bit of the excess part of the bell pepper as well because I really just want the stem. And now it's time to unwrap the cheese ball. I have some extra shredded cheddar cheese because as you can tell here, I have a bit of a blowout. Some of the cream cheese leaked out and I'm gonna go ahead and fix that by just pressing more cheese on that spot. So I have my platter here. I'm gonna take a little bit of extra cream cheese that I have. You don't have to do this, but I really like to put down the cream cheese first because that's gonna help our cheese ball stay on the platter and not roll around. It's gonna act as our glue. So once I have all the saran wrap off, I can go ahead and patch up any of the spots where the cream cheese is leaking out. I'm just gonna go ahead and press more shredded cheddar cheese in those areas. Now don't worry if your pumpkin's not perfectly symmetrical. It's not really supposed to be. It's a pumpkin after all. It can be nice and rustic. So now that the cheese ball is all patched up, I'm gonna go ahead and set it on top of the cream cheese on our platter, right in the center. So that cheese ball is not going anywhere. It's nice and stuck to the plate. Next, I'm going to use a toothpick to secure our stem to our pumpkin. And there you have it. Doesn't that look adorable? Now just add any kind of cracker you prefer and you can dig in. This cheese ball feeds a lot of people and it's perfect at room temperature as well. Okay guys, if you liked today's video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to check out the playlist. I'll go ahead and link it down below to more Thanksgiving recipes. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.